Welcome to This Is The Day. I'm Drew Crisp. And I'm Bo Chancy. That's right. That's right. Drew, ha I, had, I had something happen okay. last week that yep. um, I've been trying to process. And I thought, you know how I like to just kind of bare my soul. Just get it out there. With the This Is The Day fam. That's and, it. And, and, you know, sometimes that can be cathartic. You know, mm -hmm. just get some things off your chest. Yep. Okay, because yep. this happened. I was, uh, was having a breakfast meeting last week. And... Uh, I was uh, in this restaurant and been there for like half an hour. Yeah. And a lady comes over mm. and she touches me on the shoulder and she says, excuse me, sir. And I said, yeah, what's up? Mm -hmm. And she says, is that your vehicle in the parking lot? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I have a vehicle in the parking lot. So that's, you know. Yeah. And she goes, the really cool convertible teal one? And I said, yeah, but it's mm -hmm. a 67 International Scout. And so she's asking me like some questions about the car and whatnot. And the person I'm having breakfast goes, can I ask you a question hmm. to the lady? And she says, sure. And he goes, how'd you know it was his? And she said, I profiled him. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> I've been carrying that. I got profiled. You got profiled. Yep. She clarified, you know, she's mm -hmm. like the wardrobe, the, the hair, mm -hmm. you know, I just, I made the assumption that yeah. it was, it was his. My friend is like, uh, what do you think I drive? <laughs> she goes, I don't know, an SUV or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, have I, have I just become a, mm. like a thing? Yeah. I'm just a thing. Just the brand, yeah. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> just, like, no? I'm that guy. <laughs> I, I love that it's I profiled you. I profiled she you. She just was willing to admit Restaurant. It. Yeah. It comes to me. Uh, didn't see me pull in. No. Didn't see me get out. No. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah. I may need to make some life changes. <laughs> <laughs> That's her party trick. She's like, she's just, yeah, I got you. I got, uh, yeah. White Avalon? <laughs> yeah, nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> Early 2000s White Avalon. Mm, yep, you got oh, it. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's impressive, bro. Although that one's not that impressive. That's, that one's, no. that's kind of a given <laughs> over there. I had a moment with the White Avalon where I was like, it's time to uh, it's time to give her a good clean. Oh, I thought you were saying put her down. No, 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 no. Whoa. No, <laughs> no, no. We're going got, down together. Okay. We're Thelma and Louise. I got, me and her. I got, don't ruin it. I I haven't seen it. Oh, okay, yeah. sorry. Uh, I, uh, yeah. Okay. That's it was like, like, well, here's what happened. I was driving, and I felt like maybe I had a flea. <laughs> I felt like there was something itchy, and I was like, is my, does, is my car holding fleas? Is it time to get a, a good clean? So I had to give a good clean inside. Um, yeah. It, the future, I mean, you, you might want to start with a shampoo of your hair. <laughs> Maybe clean your own clothes. No, I felt good. You about may have been bringing it into the car. Were you like? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Fun fact, Bo. You ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> you lose about fifty to hundred hairs a day. They said. <laughs> <laughs> you lose about fifty to a hundred hairs. So I don't need to be concerned. <laughs> you don't. I'm like, I am shedding. <laughs> it was hot last week, and all of a sudden, I'm like. <laughs> how do I? How do I get hypoallergenic? You know? How do I get to where I don't shed? The sumstress is like, you know, because we got that golden retriever. Yeah. Lives at our house. Yep. We have similar hair color. Yeah. I blame everything on him. <laughs> She's like, there's him. hair everywhere. That's this Griswold. Golden retriever. I'm like, he should must be shedding. Yes. It wouldn't be me. <laughs> not me. It's not me. No. No. Okay. Yeah. All right. But you know, if you start itching in your own car, it's time for a good clean. Now you got me like, <laughs> that's the sign. <laughs> that's the sign. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be on the lookout for mm -hmm. that. And, yeah. You know. That's not something I should publicly admit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, later, um, you want to go to lunch? Yeah, I'll drive. Ah, yeah. I'll meet you there. I will meet you there. I've got things afterwards. <laughs> Please. Please. All righty. Um, you know, I've missed our... Benign chat. <laughs> no, you haven't. It's nice. <laughs> it's nice to have it it's back. It's good to have it back <laughs> in my life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something, <laughs> there was a void. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. All right. Um, have you, just quick. Yeah. Sorry, that made me think about something else. Yonoid. 
No, Mon Domino's. Yeah, the Noid. Yeah, the Noid. Yeah, avoid the Noid. Avoid the Noid. He's back. He's back. Is this really what you're gonna say? Yeah. Okay. Dead yeah. serious. Like, how does that? <laughs> I'm dead serious. Stop it. Yeah, Domino's. They got the Noid. Okay. Yes. So, yes. but they're they're coupling it with the driverless delivery vehicle. So yep. when I see this, I think of you because I'm like the singularity yeah. is, is it's happening. It's yeah. happening right now. I don't really want my pizza brought to my house in a deliverous. D a driverless delivery vehicle. I don't either. That does not appeal to me. <laughs> no. At all. Not even a little. I want the Noid to walk out. No, the, yeah. And deliver I, my I pizza. I pay extra for the Noid. For the Noid. I don't want to avoid the Noid. Bring the Noid. Yeah, I like the Noid. Bring like, the Noid. I could use more Noid. I mean, your pizza's terrible, but your Noid. I'll take your Noid. He's pretty rad. <laughs> yes. Yeah, maybe more Noid, less pizza. <laughs> yeah. And Papa John's, they've got Papa John coming, you know? Yeah, I don't, I'm it's not, not it's, no, Papa, you stay no. home. No. Your sauce is too sweet. Too sweet. Not a fan of the Papa John's. No. 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 I love Domino's recently, though, where they were like, hey, we know we're terrible. We're up in our game on the pizza. <laughs> and they're like, the whole campaign was like, we're up in our game. I do. I like their thin crust. All the, yeah. yeah. I worked at Domino's in college. Or did you? Yeah. Yeah. I did. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, the, uh, the manager of the Domino's I worked for, mm -hmm. His, he had a one running joke. Mm -hmm. His joke was he would always ask people if they accepted promissory notes. <laughs> Do you accept promissory notes? That's hilarious. Because that's what our currency is. <laughs> yes. It says it on there, you know, and he would be like, <laughs> Do you accept? <laughs> I think I found the Noid. <laughs> could noid. You, could you break this gold bar for me, please? <laughs> Sorry, before I pay, do you accept promissory notes? <laughs> That's so good. I don't remember his name. I remember that, though. Friends of mine in high school, and we can get to this, they had they would have dough fights. They worked at a Papa John's, and they would have dough fights. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, yeah They'd sure. throw dough at each other. Pizza dough. That's... It made me not ever order at that Papa John's again. Uh, I remember in high school, the guys uh, used to go out and uh, biscuit dough houses and cars. <laughs> Yeah, that stuff would stick. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. If you're lucky, it's really hot outside and it'd mm. bake. Yep. Yeah. It sounds like a grand old time. Mm, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. <Let's. laughs> All right. Uh, you ready for a verse of the day? Sorry. What was that? <laughs> I'm really excited for it. I need it. <laughs> Okay, today's verse of the day is from Exodus chapter 3, verse 14. It's actually a, a verse I've memorized. Okay. It says, God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. Okay. All right, now before I ask you what checks out there, I just yeah. got to set the scene. You said it. Okay, we're out in the wilderness. Yep. Moses, who was brought up in Pharaoh's household in Egypt, has um, fled and he's left Egypt because he's wanted for murder. Mm. Okay, so now he's settled in a new land and now he's taking on a new life. He's got a wife, he's a shepherd, he's got a business going. Boom, 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 sees a fire in the middle of nowhere. It's a bush, mm. it's on fire. So he goes over to the bush. Yeah. The bush starts talking. Whoa, no. Yeah. Whoa, no. Now the bush isn't just talking regular talk. This is crazy bush talk. Crazy bush, don't you expect it? Well, I don't know what to expect. I mean, you don't expect, A, a fire. You see a fire, I'm gonna go check this out. Yep. B, the fire is burning but not consuming the bush. It's just, now Now the bush is speaking and the bush is saying crazy things like, hey Moses, I yep. want you to go back to Egypt and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. And Moses is like, all right. Uh, okay, whoa, I got whoa. some questions. Yeah. Question number one, who are you? Yep. Like, who am I to say? Mm -hmm. And this is where God gives the name Yahweh. I am who I am, Yah. And it, it means I create, I cause to exist. You don't name me, I name you. So mm. like in a polytheistic world, like the Egyptian world, where they had, um, they had nine primary gods, mm. like the Ra, the sun god, mm. and the god of the Nile River, and the god of livestock, and you know, uh, the, like gods of the weather, things that were powerful and beyond them to worship. And even uh, Pharaoh himself was a god, so like 10. Mm. Uh, primary gods. Uh, this was the God, Yahweh, the God of gods, mm. saying, well, you can't define me and you don't name me. I am who I am. Mm. And uh, I'm the one who created everything. And so that's where, when he says, tell this is what you're saying to the Israelites, I am has sent me to you. Like, I am your God and I am the God. And I'm the God of the Nile River and I'm the God of Pharaoh and I'm the mm. God of, of everything that you would ever deem 
uh, to be worshipped. Mm. I deem to be worshipped. <laughs> Pretty rad. That is amazing. Yeah. That that being itself has sent me. You know, that like the existence of everything, the, the one creator who, who causes everything to causes exist. It. The breath of life is the one that has sent you. The one who spoke it all into existence <laughs> is now appearing to me in the middle of nowhere in a burning bush. Yep. Telling me to do the impossible. Right. That's it. It's like that friend who's like, hey, can you do me a favor? Um, do you mind driving across uh, the United States and getting me this soda that I like from Colorado and bringing it back? And it's like, well, that's not, that's kind of a big favor, you know? I feel like God is giving him a, a big <laughs> command here, like, go back to Pharaoh. It's like certain death and like, certain failure. Yes. And, and yet uh, he goes. Yeah. Yeah. He's faithful. Yeah. I mean, I think when a burning bush is speaking to you, it's like, well, this is pretty out of ordinary. I'm probably Maybe. going to obey. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, we don't know how many other. Right. <laughs> was it, how many other burning bushes there were. I mean, right. this is the only one we know about, but. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Man. That's so cool that I am. It's so, it's, it's beyond our imagination. Like, oh, it's fantastic. It's so amazing. good and so complete. And, um, and so God's in the revealing business. And so, mm -hmm. I mean, that's really the, I mean, that, even as you have the plagues, you know, it says the scriptures will say that God hardened Pharaoh's heart mm -hmm. um, because God's revealing himself. It's not cruel that he hardens Pharaoh's heart. Mm -hmm. it, it's not me. He's like, I am showing myself to the world, and I'm going to reveal myself through this people that I'm creating for myself that will be my family. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, hmm. Moses goes back and gets down on all that. <laughs> and he's supposed to go and talk, and he's terrible at talking. Right. He's right. a stutterer. He's not good, yep. you know, and so God's, you know, like, all right, fine, I'll send your, yeah. your brother-in-law, too. Yep. Father-in-law. Yep. Brother-in-law? Father-in-law. Uh, is his... I don't remember. Why did I? Brother. 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 Yep. Somebody. Yep. <laughs> yep. I like that God sent him with a riddle, basically, you know? <laughs> I am. Yeah, I know who. <laughs> no, I am sent me. Yeah, I am. Yeah, no, I wait. am sent me too. That's his name? <laughs> oh, no, okay. Uh, then we have another, uh, we have a, uh, a counter page. We do. Okay. Um, never know what it's gonna, gonna bring to light, but um, it's, uh, it, it's got a question here. Okay says, what belongs to you, but other people use it more than you? Oh, man. Speaking I mean, of riddles. Speaking of riddles, yeah. yeah. Uh, what, what, what belongs, belongs to, you, to you, but other people use it more than you? Than you. Okay. Feels I like mean, my money. Yeah, that feels like almost <laughs> yeah. everything, right? <laughs> I'm a dad, okay. I'm a dad. I just, just all of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, oh, man, I love riddles. This one is difficult, though. Oh, man, I'm going to say other people use it more than you. I would say your, I would say money. And that feels crisp. 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 Drew Crisp. Yep. Your that, name. Oh, your name. Your That's name. That's good. That's a good one right there. Which you already, like, you hinted at it when you are I am. I am. Yeah, there you go. You got, and you said you gave the answer to his question, who is it I was to say sent me to you? And you said basically the answer was a riddle. It really is, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Those are connected. I am. I am. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Your name. Your name. People use it more because you don't really speak in the first person. Third person. Third person, I mean. Yeah, sorry. Drew Crisp doesn't, at least. Drew Crisp. <laughs> Bo Chansey would never. Bo Chansey would never person. speak in third person. No, I, that is, like, that, that's a sign that we can't be friends. If you, if yeah. you go about doing that, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah I was like, mm, mm -hmm. no. Yeah. Sorry. It's more common now that people, like, brand themselves and try to be influencers, you know, they, you know. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. I'm out. No, no, not really getting down on that. Okay. Yeah. Um, then we have another calendar that gives us a reason to celebrate yeah. every day. And today is World Dracula Day. World Dracula Day. World Dracula. We are talking about something vampire quite often on this show. There's a what, lot of... They, I think the calendar is kind of down on the, the vampire world. So yep. Dracula, famous vampire. Yep. Um, you know, turned into a bat, slept right. in a coffin. Nosferatu. I want to soak your blood. You know. mm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, Dracula. Yeah. Right, like from the the book, but I just, I don't know how, I don't know how accessible that is. I mean, not a lot of castles. Right, people right, right. People living right. in castles? Are we in Transylvania? Right, right. And yeah, most people aren't, there really aren't any 
like vampires around well, us. Well, and blood, I mean, like, right. is like the life source. Yeah. So I think if maybe there are other kinds of vampires that we could celebrate today. Okay. Instead of just Dracula, the, a particular vampire, right. maybe another another kind. There's other types of people that just suck the life out of mm. you. Who could we celebrate today we that celebrate? just sucks the life right out of us? I mean, hey, I uh, how you guys doing? Oh, doing well. Hey, Eric. Have I have I ever told you something? So, what's your so, what's your favorite type of uh, expanded universe piece? So like Marvel, you got the Lord of the Rings. Um, you got Star Wars. Yeah. I've ever talked to. So my my favorite is actually the most like underappreciated one. Have you ever read the series Dune? So before before you get it is coming out as a movie. I'm a little. I'm a little okay about it. Like, you know, I think Timothy Charlemagne will be a good Paul Atreides, but I'm curious as to seeing what they do with the story because it's so multifaceted. It's kind of like a Tolkien. I can't do it, dude. That's it. I can't. Okay. It's like a new record. Oh, wow. I am so tired. Wow. Oh, man, that's some good energy. Oh, that's some good energy. Yeah. Thank you, boys. My goodness. That guy wears me out. Just sucks the life right out of us. Sucks the life right out of us, Here's the he? thing, I wish it wasn't true. I really do. It's like, no, it's not true. Have you ever told no, you about no, the no, appendices no, 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 no. of these things? Oh, oh no? Oh, wow. The appendices? The appendices of no. these different things? Stop. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. See, and then I have nothing left to give. <laughs> he took it all. He takes it all. He took <laughs> all these things. That... I love a good he... classic Eric. Let me ask, have you, have you, I'll tell you mine. <laughs> oh, yo, well, Eric is like, no, but it, he'll lead in like with, um, can I tell you something? I'd like to tell you a story. I'm gonna tell you a story. Is that okay if I tell you a story? So um, in, the, in the Tolkien universe of, I'm like, stop, like I'm already, <laughs> Frail and brittle. <laughs> so we're celebrating today the energy vampires. They energy. suck the life right out of you. Which is a yeah. thing. Yes. Yeah. Well yeah. done, Eric. Yeah, you that you played that very part. Fun. Like it was almost natural for you. And thank you for the energy. <laughs> oh, it was so mm. good. It was delicious. <laughs> Which uh, energy vampire? Yeah. We got we got to tell where we stole it from. Give credit where credit is due. Yeah. Yep. Uh, what happens in the shadows? That's right. Uh, the the TV show. Yeah. Yep. What we do in the shadows. There's what a, we do in the shadows. Yeah. Well, there's yeah. a character on there, and he's not a regular vampire. He's an energy vampire. Yeah. And it's so true. And it's so true. It's he just so real. goes around and asks benign questions and topics, and he just sucks the sucks life right, the life out, right of out of it. Yeah. 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 He actually feels at home when there's uh, fluorescent fluorescent lights. lighting. He feels at home. In he's, cubicles. In cubicles. He yeah. loves it. That's water. Like, give him a water cooler. Give him a water cooler. <laughs> that stand he's by. In. Yeah. Ooh. Yep. He will tell you about his niece. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Oof. All right. right. World Dracula. World Dracula Day. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you know an energy vampire. <laughs> Give him a little bit today. Give him, yeah. Just listen a little longer than normal. Lean in, ask me. Yeah. Maybe ask a question. Drink a Red Bull, eat an energy bar, walk over to that cubicle later. Here we go. All right. All right. <sighs> Give me your best shot there, buddy hey. boy. Dan, what's your favorite show? <laughs> Here we go. All right. <laughs> I didn't mean to use Dan because I actually work with a Dan. I probably shouldn't use. I use should use a different name. Dan, uh, <laughs> what'd you think about season fourteen? <laughs> You already know if a show has season, has 14 season. It's, oh, whoo, whoo. Oh, boy. Here we yeah, go. you're going to get a whole discourse on Yep. Oh, no. To quote Bo, buckle up, buttercup. That's right. All righty. Okay. All right. Uh, all right, energy giving. Energy giving. Not energy sucking. Trivial pursuit. That's right. By the way, like, it does, it, it does kind of amaze me, like, the, the, when people come up, you know, in, out in the wild. Out in the wild. When they see me out in the wild. Yeah. This part of this is they fam. Almost everybody who talks to me about this is the day says something about Trivial Pursuit. Because I'm always like, should we keep, I enjoy it, but should we keep doing it? And Absolutely. Then, yeah, so I, I, yeah. I, I like it. I we're, like, we're in, all right? I'm learning. I learn so much. So here's the deal. We've got some Pop Rocks from a Fun Dip box. Fun Dip. And they're, they're not going very fast. No. So no. Um, the only way to get these bad boys is you got to get all six questions right on Trivial Pursuit card. Can't play... 
Uh, you can't win unless you play, so you gotta guess it all six. Make a guess, I'm gonna guess it all six. We have the original 1981 edition uh, and the 40th anniversary edition, oldest cards, newest cards, dealer's choice, and you went old school. Old school. All right, old school. These cards are old and outdated. Okay. Just like me. Yep. No, no, gosh. Uh, let me know if you've if this was recent. It should be brand, it's a new box. Okay, so okay. It should be all good. Blue. Blue geography. What's the most common Russian surname. We've had that one. See, I thought I even off. I had it. Okay, Wait, do, do I, I go, do I Yeah, go no, middle? no, right there in the front. Okay. I don't uh, know who put that back. That, oh, it drives me nuts. Okay. Ivanov, by the way. Ivanov. I, yep. I did remember that. Okay. Okay, here we go. Blue. Geography. Geography. Yeah. What resort peninsula curves 65 miles to its tip? Resort peninsula. We've had that one too. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. What is that one? Cape Cod. Oh man, I love Cape Cod. All right. Should I go? Just right, flip in the box the other way. Oh. Might have gotten flipped. Oh. I don't think it. You sure? I don't know. I Last try, and then we'll go try. middle. Last try. Okay, here we go. Then we go for the middle. Yep. Yep. I've had that card. I'm going this one. Oh no. We'll, okay. Qantas. Okay. Qantas. I know. Somehow the other two of them got put. In. No, we'll, we'll okay. Go. I went new. I went new card. New this card. New We're card. switching. I switched to the game changer. Yep. Sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> Which blue, in geography. blue? Yep. Which independent European country is located between Spain and France? Independent European country located between Spain and France. Monaco. Final answer. Morocco. That's not there. It's not the M one. Between Spain and France? Between Spain and France. It's not Portugal. It's a little place, right? Little, little, I mean. Monte Carlo, I don't know. Uh, answer is Andorra. Andorra? Andorra. What is Andorra? O-R-R-A. I'm pretty sure people who even live in Andorra didn't Andorra. know that. Andorra. <laughs> That's like, no, we're Spain. No, you're Andorra, really? Okay. okay. Pink. Pink wow. entertainment. In the TV show, Mr. Robot, Coney Island is the headquarters for which revolutionary hacker group? You ever seen this show? I did, I watched the first season. Coney Island is the headquarters for which revolutionary hacker group? So I do not know the name the of the name hacker, the Smiley Facers. Smiley Facers, I, I feel like that should, that should count. I don't know their name. F Society. Yeah, sorry, F the Society. The F Society. Yeah. Okay, yellow? Yellow history. The beehive, symbolizing industry and the, and the pioneer virtues of thrift and perseverance, was adopted as official emblem of which state in 1959? The beehive, symbolizing industry and the pioneer virtues of thrift and perseverance, was adopted as official emblem of which state in 1959? Like a state in the United States? Uh, yes, state in the United States. Uh, has the beehive the as beehive. their emblem? Yep. yep. Uh, you know, you've got the you've got the queen bee, and then multiple um, partners, and the everyone. Okay. All right. No. Sorry. Um. Uh. The I don't beehive. know. Massachusetts. No idea. Utah. Utah is the correct answer. Utah. Utah. Okay. okay. All right. Purple. Purple. Art and literature. Which former Saturday, Saturday Night Live writer published an autobiography titled The Bedwetter? Which former Saturday Night Live writer and uh, hometown girl, I'll give you that, published an autobiography titled The Bedwetter? Uh, well, you said hometown girl, so that would be uh, Sarah Silverman. Sarah Silverman is correct. Okay. I felt like that needed to be said. All right, well, All right. a little, little clumsy there. Green? Green, signs of nature. Okay. A certain species of lemur is the only primate other than some humans to have which physical attribute? A certain species of lemur is the only primate other than some humans to have which physical attribute? Some humans? Some humans. Some humans. Well, then there wouldn't be an opposable thumb. Hmm. Uh, which Phys physical attribute? Physical attribute. Uh, is varied upon in humans. Um, a widow speak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, I don't know. Widow's Peak. Widow's Peak, nope. They're looking for blue eyes. Blue eyes. Dogs have blue eyes? Yeah, I don't know. That's interesting. Yeah, certain species. Yeah, that's weird. What? No, no, no. Uh, blue eyes? The blue eyed black lemur is what they. Okay. Orange. Orange. Science and nature. National landmark. Or sports and leisure. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Which national landmark did Daredevil, Evil Knievel, hop, hope to jump, hop, <laughs> hope to jump, but was prevented from doing so by the U.S. government? Well. National landmark. That would be the Grand Canyon. He really wanted to jump the Grand Canyon. Yeah, he wasn't going to make it. Wow. He didn't make it over Snake Canyon. He wouldn't make it. <laughs> That's a hard card. Yeah. Andorra. Wow. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that one. I don't know anything specific about Andorra. Neither do I. Except that it's right between Spain, Spain and France. And France. Okay. Andorra. We do a little Everyday with Jesus? Every day. All right, our daily devotion in 140 characters or less. It says, we love because we have received love and love demands to be shared. When you know God, you can't help but love others. First John 4, 16. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in him. Mm. It's good. That's right. Love demands to be shared. Absolutely. Yeah. I was thinking when you're reading that, Bo, the contrarian point can also probably be a good uh, uh, gauge. Like if I'm not so loving towards others, you know, that's probably means that I'm maybe far from, you know, God or haven't spent time with him, you know? There's a disconnect. Disconnect, sure. yeah. Yeah, yeah. something is, is going on there for yeah. sure. Yeah. But it's good then to have a, a daily prayer. You know? <laughs> like what? What, do you have a <laughs> suggestion? You know, um, yeah, a daily prayer that's like, um, God, give me one person to share your love with. Mm. Like I if, I, if I just did that every day and just... God, please give me one person to share your love with. Yeah, connect it with him. Yeah. Then it would, it would open me up to my world, you know. Yep. Yeah. Get in the uh, the love flow. The love flow. Flows in, flows out. He lavishes his love on us. So why mm. are we being uh, chintzy with it towards others? Mm. We treat love like it's you know not this non-renewable resource. <laughs> like, it, like it's running out. You know, yep. we gotta. It's in short supply. We gotta really, you know, hold it back because mm -hmm. we don't want to be extravagant. Yep. With love. And man, that's that's like one of the worst abuses of love. Yeah. Yep. No. It's yeah, it's a renewable resource. That's a good point. Way to put it. It's new out new every day. It's yeah. flowing. It's a, it's a fountain. Mm. It's a river. Mm. Mm. Geyser? Exactly. <laughs> Old faithful. <there>. Old faithful. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Love that. Me too. Mm. Um, so Drew. Yeah. But we didn't check in on uh, uh, our snail. Snailson Mandela. Snailson Mandela. How's he doing today? How's he, he doing? Um, no snail mail yet. No snail Snailson. mail has come in. 56 Old Bedford Road. Yep. Bedford, New Hampshire, 03110. If you'd like to send a message to Snailson Mandela. I'd mean, love to hear from you. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, no. He's there in the aqua, just hanging out. I don't know what snails, what do they think about? Snails? Yeah. I, I don't suppose to know the mind of a snail. <laughs> I'm sure it's probably pretty slow thoughts. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. maybe the mind races. Maybe the mind races. Yeah. Just, am I going to live another day? That's kind of what we think. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping he does. I hope he makes it. We're doing our best. For him. Is it our best? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I wonder if uh, Snelson and Mandela could. How long will he make it outside the water? Do we, we need to. We need to do more research. We need to do some research. <laughs> we probably we, do need this to do is more. not good. Okay. <laughs> I know I was stopped from putting pop rocks in there to see what would happen. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're trying our best. <laughs> well, it's, he's made it longer than than I think the over under. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Vegas yep. had those odds. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, you can bet on anything now. You can bet on anything. <laughs> it's nuts. The over-under. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. This is the day. We'll catch you tomorrow.